Okie dokie, here we are, start of the game. I'm gonna do a Fortuna game. I like free characters. Oh, all right, so. Yeah, I, for those of you at home who remember or played a whole bunch of SBB, a lot of this is gonna look very familiar. One of the new mechanics is mana. Uh, this apprentice owl grows every time I cast a spell. So I, I, I kind of like it early because it's good scaling, but it takes one of my mana, so it takes away my capacity to cast a spell. Another thing you'll notice is you get a free roll every turn. Uh, oh, that's a free roll and another owl. So I wanna save both of those for next turn, cool. Yeah, so you get a free roll every turn and you're not penalized. You get one free roll every single turn. For those of you at home wondering how I'm rolling without clicking the roll button, space bar is the default roll key. Uh, pantry hose? I don't know. Maybe I'll take, well, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to record some of these and then uh, just toss them on YouTube for funsies so people could get like some of the early, like if anybody wants to see some of this stuff and kind of get a sense of what I'm doing and how I'm beginning to navigate. All right, so I definitely wanted to pair the owls. I definitely want to play the fresh and up to buff both owls, right? Cause I'll each get a buff when I cast the spell. This right here, these cost one to buy and they sell for one. One cost items are completely gold neutral to buy and then sell later. So you can always fill out your odd gold curves with one cost items. Like there's another one right there. Yeah, I will actually lock up a free roll. That's worth. I don't really need this free roll. Right now I'm more keen on getting a couple more stats on my burbs. Oh, I guess I could use the ready button, but it's one of those things that like now that there's a group of people playing, the ready button is going to quickly become one of the things that people stop pressing as they realize that it's not doing a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> my loins are girded, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Swift is Swift is right. There are some folks who have already made some content in advance. It's very similar, Don Manos, very similar. What up, Rams? Uh, so what, what, what I'd say is it's, it's absolutely inspired by, like clearly inspired by. Now I could take an extra mana, which might be good because it lets me cast an extra spell, but unless I find a whole bunch of free spells, it's really not that valuable. Because I'm on a two gold and there's an odd cost item in the shop, I'm gonna just skip this one. Uh, I'll pick something up out of this shop, which I suppose will just be shield page because adding more health to your thing with a lot of, like your your one big collected stat thing is usually a decent play. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, we're playing owls. In this game, we're chasing mages, we're playing owls. It's good, man, it's good. What, 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 what was that? What was that? <laughs> I know that I didn't say that, but I can't remember the last time. What, what, what was the last time? It's good, man. What was the one? <laughs> Frontkin, Frontkin. Yes, thank you, Clack. Oh my God, that would have driven me nuts. So yeah, Don Manos, a lot of this is gonna remind you an awful lot of Storybook. Uh, that said, there are some new ideas put on top of what you experienced in Storybook. So it, 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 it feels absolutely inspired by. But yeah, it is not not the same dev, not the same group of developers, not any of that. This is a solo dev project by a developer who goes by the name of Laralas. I want to get a three cost shooty. Eh, there are no three cost shooties I care about here. Maybe I should have taken that Ori that was just a generic 7.5 because I happen to have a lot of these items. I don't, I think I just roll here. Ah, fine. I'll take a board farm boy just to save my gold for next turn. I don't want to roll too much. I want to buy something. I want to continue doing stuff to my board. Also, I don't want to spend all my money when I want to spend a bunch of money on spells. This spell is nutso, but I don't want to stay on level three. Lose XP in exchange for money. But you stay down on level three. Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? Hello. Hello, kid. Hello, teach. Hello, hello. Sadly... Mages doesn't mess well with the hero, but it's a good tempo start. It's true. Well, it depends what we get when we go to four. If we get a decent six that plays with mages, we'd be happy. There are ads playing at the start of the game. What does the sword symbol mean on the one three? You talking about this right here? These are items. So I can buy a, an item from the shop and anytime you buy a one cost item, they also sell for one. So a lot of times just to like fill out my gold curve early, I'll just buy items, right? 
if I have an odd number of gold, or even just in general, I'll pick up a one cost and throw it on something that's not carrying an item right now. Because later on, I'll find something that I really want to replace it with. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is it time to switch gears? I have so many items. We're switching gears. You don't always get this, and it's kind of fun when you do. For some reason, there's a bug where you can have two Snow Whites. It's not OP. The Snow White treasures aren't really that incredible for playing dwarves, but we're trading into dwarves. I picked up a bunch of items. There's a Ori and two Snow Whites in the shop on level 3.1. I'm, I'm game. Hopefully, my, uh, my hero power gives me a dwarf. Here, maybe I shouldn't ready up. I should keep talking so that we can discuss things for sure. So yeah, when you buy an item, it adds whatever the stat is on the bottom of the item, right? So this sword gives one attack when I put it on there. You can see the my Snow White's turning from three fives to four fives. Wait, what am I? Oh, I'm blocking the turn counter in my treasure. I need to move my camera. But does it have time flies? No, no time flies. However, there are uh, there's a whole entire tribe pirates dedicated to hand summons. So in a way, I guess, yeah, but no specific time flies. Wow, they had a lot more stuff than I did. Yep, the all heroes start with some attack value, and actually this spell right here, you can see, would increase my permanent attack value. So there are some strategies that build around the attack, but the way the attack is used is if you lose a fight, your attacks go off and give you a shot to tie the fight. Let's take one of those. Let's take one of those. I'm not going to buy a two cost item that only sells for one. So that's not the same kind of economy save that I was talking about. But now I don't even want to sell my items that much. I haven't really been focused on spells because I've decided I'm going to dwarves here, which is probably better with this hero anyway. I'm just looking for dwarves. So I'm going to hit my free roll here. Uh, we're going to four. I don't lack a consti going to four. It's okay. Anvil is on three now. Uh yeah, that'd be good. Weird Compass would be good, too. Why well, have the 04 in the background? That was probably... Oh, 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 you're thinking of this one? Because this one's a boost, so it gives four extra health to the two things in front of it. So, like, this bird is only a 14-16, but it gets four extra HPs. It's, uh, I can't remember the name of the health buffer from SBB, but it's kind of equivalent to that. I, I remember Mad Mim. What was the... What was the... Oh, it was, it was Baby Root. Baby Root was the health. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'll I'll turn the I'll turn the fight speed down a little bit. I eventually I think everyone will end up turning it up to four x. It feels like it's at a crawl to me for having played the 175 hours I have with it not being up four x. We go to like 1.6 is the the normal default. That's a fluff. The young fluff fluff. They grow every time they get popped. Yeah, right now we're just kind of... Oh, it's a Trestus board. Get wrecked, Trestus, by my one unit. Yeah, 1.6 does feel... That's fine. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do it for the, the sake of just showing things off and sharing. It's worth doing. Well, this will be a good just kind of like tempo stat ball. Why do I have you up front? That doesn't make any sense. All right. I am not paying attention to my positioning that closely. You should be in the back. You should be on the board somewhere because you're going to be bigger than some other stuff. Three suns and one star. Good morning, Possum Morpheus. Oh, Domiziano, thank you for that follow earlier, too, by the way. My positioning is triggering you. Yeah, I know. I'm not really paying close attention, am I? Uh, well, the thing is... I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to leave that hang out there. I'm going to say the thing is... I'm not going to say what the thing is. So now that I'm on these dwarves, what I really want to find are Ori's. I don't mind that Consti that I let go, but I wanted to see if there were any interesting fours. I really just want to skip level four. I want to go straight to level five. Uh, I'll take more or, or uh, dwarfies. Oh, wait, this is summoning pirates. What am I doing? Oh, no, this doesn't work. I was thinking it was the... I wasn't thinking it was Barbarossa. I was thinking it was Blackbeard. Wow. <laughs> Muffin button. <laughs> Excuse me. How dare you? I don't really care about that. I want XP. I want experience. Uh, you know what? You're not going to really fit this build ever. I don't really need you anymore. I'm going to start stealing stats from a burb. Because the burbs are no longer permanent. Oh, okay. We got it close to arranged here. Yeah, the 2-3 has an aura. So it's a global effect that 
while this is alive, it buffs the things that carry items by an extra plus two, plus three. A significant Inkbound update. Interesting. I'd play some more Inkbound. My username for meme purposes, now I find out it'll take two months to go back to Moo Kid. <laughs> I thought it might, I wasn't sure if you were Moo Kid and I didn't want to read it that way. So you, you saw I just called you Kid and I refused to read it the way that you have it typed. So <laughs> when you're back to Moo Kid, I'll, I'll, I'll happily say your entire name as you've decided it should be in Twitch chat. <laughs> With this name, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to say it. Uh, tough luck. Let's uh, trade up the item for the better item, cast the spell, because I get some more stats on the birds. I, right now, I'm just kind of tempoing until I hit five, because all the important stuff that I need to get is on five and six if I'm playing dwarves. The level two dwarves are really good tempo, dwarfy. The level three dwarf is pretty good to put this dagger on. So what this dagger is doing is it's stealing stats from this owl every turn. Unfortunately, I don't have an extra. Oh, wait, no, I can put it over here. So the owl's an 11-11. This thing steals 3-3. The dagger itself has 7-7 that it, it's already stolen 1-3-3. So later on, I can put it on. A, I can steal all the stats from things I plan to sell later. And then later on, I can just like drop it on a range and I'll have big range right off the bat. Just message Twitch saying you were hacked. That might work, weirdly. Yeah, dwarves really want items and dwarves really want this item. The pouch that lets you carry extra things, that's real good for a dwarf board. But because I'm carrying the Ori, or because I'm playing the Ori, I want everybody to have one item if they can. <laughs> Kamba. <laughs> oh yeah, Wolven. Anybody who is not currently playing and is interested in playing, you can hop into that Discord that Wolven just linked in the chat there. And you can get yourself a key, and you, too, can play. You won't need a key on Saturday, but if you want to play before Saturday, you can grab a key right there. Easy peasy. Yep. The Discord contains the keys. Well, we like pouches for dwarves. I don't want to cast that because I want to cast that. So this one, because it's got the one plus, that means it uses all of my mana, right? I have two mana every turn, so I can usually cast two spells. But if you cast a combat spell, it drains all your mana. You're all out. Maybe I'm not as keen on leveling because I'm 4.2, but I am Fortuna, so I am fairly keen on leveling. I'll take this because I kind of forgot I'm Snow Whiting. Heroes, one attack, extra character. I'll take the extra character just because it'll give me a better shot of finding smithies, maybe. And I guess I'll take a burb and I'll upgrade a... <laughs> you for a turn. There's nothing you can triple into, right? No. All right, be a hellhound for a turn. That's a little bit of burb statage. It ain't much, but it's honest work. How many stats you got left? 10, 10? Okay. The dagger will stop stealing once it has stolen all of the stats from the thing that it is stealing from. <laughs> oh yeah, we got we got a we got a tourney command for that one too, Swift. I got the FTF command and the tourney command. 4.2 tuna. 4.2 tuna? Ban me, sorry. What, what did you just say? 4.2 tuna? <laughs> Awesome, you don't get banned for that. That's <laughs> You can reroll treasures, yeah. So you lose two gold at the start of your next turn and you get a new treasure select two turns later. So if you get something that you didn't... Oh, that's why you messed... Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> I see, it wasn't... Yeah, the, the comment wasn't bannable. The... <laughs> well, Moo Kid, I hope you are well, though. Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? No, it's a fairy tale, Tim. It's a mixture of both. Hey, they have backline destruction. I don't like that. Oh, that's the equivalent of what was Feasting Dragon in SBB. That is tomorrow's tailor. Wait, I can still hover over and you can still see. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we are now level five and we need Smithy and we need Smithy badly. Smithy is the most important thing in the universe. If Smithy would arrive, we would be very happy about that. Where was this spell last level? This was the XP spell that I was hoping to find, but right now my board is weak and I feel like I should power it up rather than level, so I need to find Smithy. 
Now I need to find, uh, you guessed it, one more smithy. If I could find as many smithies as possible, that'd be great. Smithy is a crucial dwarf because it is ranged. How many stats you got, friend? i uh, just sticking on smithy. Seven, seven. I keep eating owl numbers for right now. You are tiny, so come off the board. Smithy wants my two best items. That one and, I don't know, maybe a, a shield. Smithy gets the honor of carrying things because what Smithy does is I can carry one more item. Entrance, which is an effect that starts at the start of fight, buff the items I'm carrying by plus two, two permanently. So Smithy is going to grow my stuff. I don't hate the legendary dagger. I don't love selling two when I just really need to find more Smithy. Mm, I don't know that I'm going to win this fight. I hope I can at least tie it. I think I do go for the XP here. XP is good. If I can keep it. All right, I'll actually order my board. Can we force Hap all every game? You can. It's a little different, but you can still cast a satisfying amount of spells if you get all the pieces put together. Yeah. So you, you, you can chase it for sure. There's some... What you got to do for mage and like spell casting strategies is you got to get the mana generating treasures because you only start with enough mana to usually cast two spells unless you happen to find a cantrip, which you don't always or typically. So you'll need to find some of the mage treasures first. So you got to get you got to get familiar with the mage treasures. This game feels like one of those board game expansions where the devs said, let's come up with one or two new ideas for expansion, but ended with 20 suggestions and decided to implement them all anyway. <laughs> I mean, Kefail, I'm not going to argue with you. I don't think you're entirely wrong here. But there are a lot of interesting ideas. Bought a PS5 and catching up on the backlog. That sounds nice. Oh, this is going to be fun, I think. I don't care about Tempe. Tempe can get real big. Tempe can carry all sorts of items. I don't care about Tempe. I just want to put more pouches on more smithies. I want some XP. I want to get to level 6. I want to get some smithies. I want to get some smithies. And I want to get some smithies. Bow, bow, bow. I don't mind getting a sleigh item in the mix. But I don't really think I care that much right now when I could be finding a smithy. Okay. Uh... One problem. <laughs> my upgraded burb is smaller than my unupgraded burb. I might let you have one pouch because I kind of like the balancing of the smithies. I am very much into smithy carry when I play dwarf. Not even scouting. No, 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 Lara. No, 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 no. I barely have ever scout, <laughs> I'll be honest, because like a lot of the time scouting, it's not going to change much what I do. My board is already built. It's already kind of ordered in the way that it's going to be the strongest. Now, later game, I will scout a little more, but middle game, I kind of, it doesn't really affect me that much most of the time. Just go Merlin's two book and don't cast spell easy. Easy. Call it dwarf balancing, if you will. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm going to hit ready. We're not going to sit here. Oh, wait. We are going to sit here for the 50 seconds. Oh, is someone else in the lobby? It did go to the five-second countdown when I readied up the last time, but I haven't readied up the last few turns, and if someone else is in the lobby with me, they may have just given up on it. Oh, I had a... I floated a gold. <laughs> oh, well. I wasn't going to spend that on anything. I didn't think I had. Oh, I'm fighting a ghost over here, too. Don't go... Well, we're going to six next turn. We want to find one of the two level six uh, dwarves. We want to find one of the want to find the mirror fairy, which will remind you of Echo Wood. Oh, look, we went to six and we found a level six dwarf. Not that one. That one's free because of my hero power. On level four and level six, I get a free level six character in my shop. That's the hero I picked. Well, hello, brand new second guy. Second hand. Why? Why did I? I don't know. I, I even read the second hand in my head. What's up? Uh, this is a new fairy tale auto battler game, is what this is. I'm gonna skip. I don't need three drops that badly. Uh, I'm gonna. Ooh, no, I'm taking the anvil. The anvil is great. Baby mimic's good too, but having the capacity to find more entrance items would be phenomenal. We need. <laughs> having the capacity to find more entrance items would be pretty cool. All right, now we have multi, which gives your dwarves their item stats times two for the fight. Which is pretty cool. That means I want all my dwarves to be carrying items. 
Also unyielding, but very small because we don't have Admiri yet. Admiri would make things larger. I guess I should... These are both the exact same size, correct? No, that one's bigger somehow. Oh, because it's got the item. Yeah, yeah, they're the same size. I should grab another dwarf and stick the extra item on there. I definitely want the smithies getting larger and 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 larger. Hey, Prayolus, yo, yo. Oh, bam. Welcome, welcome. We are here. Oh, I forgot. I was going to move my camera. Let's do that. Oh, no, you can see the treasures. You just can't see the turn tracker. It's still probably... What am, what am I moving here? What is this? That's still probably better than... You don't need to see the bug report button or my player name. <laughs> you just move. I'll put the text over the turn tracker. But that also means I got to find... Where's the Hank cam? Oh, no, Hank cam's fine. Hank cam can block stuff while Hank's around. Hank's more important than any game I'm playing. Bam! Oh, you said woo, not move. I heard move. <laughs> move. That would have been perfect timing, too. Baby Mimic's so good, but items for dwarves, yeah, they're so strong. They're so strong. Bam, thank you for that 16 months, friend. Uh, just as many items as possible, because what they do is they buff up all the items and they get to carry another item. So, like, you see them now at 150, 150 at this stage of the game. Uh, natural 5.2, it would appear if my opponent is the correct indicator. But, like, yeah, I just put down two big balls of stats right there that were hard to get through. And eventually, and the fact that it's ranged, the, the the big draw to why Smithy is like the most attractive carry for me to want to scale is it's ranged. Like right now, having two of them separate, I would spend 12 gold on the upgrade spell and I'd upgrade a Smithy. But really what I want to find first is another multi or an Admiri. This is the game, Marsupial. Welcome to Fairytale Fables. We are allowed to stream it now. And if you want to play it, you can get it very easily. Oh, double entrance. Got to have those. Never gonna get it, 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 never gonna get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I forgot. We have covers. I wanted to. All right, hang on. I don't want to go back to back that song. I like that song. I just don't want to go back to back that song. You know, just me personally. Let's get another dwarf in here, get another item on another dwarf in here. Because we're looking for a dwarf that also interacts with dwarves. I didn't realize multi was a dwarf only. It didn't used to be, but it got, it must have got changed. So that's neato. Oh, marsupial. You want, oh, 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 oh. If someone could, uh, if someone could exclamation point FTF for marsupial, and then I can explain to marsupial that it's very easy to get into that Discord and go grab yourself a key. Thank you, Possumorpheus. Oh, thanks, man. And marsupial, as soon as you're back, you can't hear this. Let me know when you're back, marsupial. Okay. Tell tell me when you're back. <laughs> yeah. So. All you got to do to get a key if you want to play right now, and this isn't just marsupial, this applies to anybody, go to that Fairy Tale Fables Discord, and there are instructions right when you get in there that will help you get your hands on a key if you want one. Oh yeah, we're dwarfing this. So this right here looks like it's going to be a fairly competent dwarf game by the end, so yeah, maybe, uh, maybe this will be a good one for YouTube just to explain, hey, Here's a flavor of how dwarves work. Ah, okay. FF, hello. Hello, hello. Is there a link? I want to learn the new stuff. Wait. What do you mean link? What do you mean new stuff? Wait. <laughs> I'm not sure I follow secondhand. Why don't your last shop have a whole bunch of fairy tale characters and a 1950-ish guy in a suit? Well, it could fail. That's because uh, Dr. Watson and Sherlock Holmes are in the game if you want to play hunters. Uh, they're, they're very good with your hero attack. Uh, somehow the detectives are wonderful with hero attack. You know, they, they, it's, a, it's a thing of lore and mystery, detective work. I think I can afford to buy a Narcissus. I'm feeling somewhat ahead of the lobby at the moment, but I'm also still looking for one key dwarf before I'm feeling too comfy. And that key dwarf is not here yet. I uh, don't care about double dying breath. Do care about, no, don't care about stealth. Oh, I have 65 seconds. Yeah, we're doing okay. I just want to spend six gold on one particular dwarf. 
I like sleigh items, but I don't care that much in this spot. Uh, I could pick up an extra item, but I don't really have space for it. And I'll probably want to sell it to buy what I really am looking for. Yeah, here's Dr. Watson. Dr. Watson is good with your hero attack. I'm just looking for uh, Admiri is a level 6 dwarf, just like Multi is a level 6 dwarf. They're both very good when you're playing dwarves. I guess I'm just going to take the extra item and rip the vitality heal for 3 and just chill here. I'm not finding my, not finding my Mirror Fairy or my Admiri. I want a Mirror Fairy and an Admiri. Oh man, that was ridiculously easy. I'm glad. Look, uh, I just, if you want to play and you want to play today, I don't want there to be any impediments for you to play today. So if you're interested and you want to check this out and you want to start wrapping your head around it. Oh, Marsupial, hover. Fortuna is the first time you reach level four and level six at a free level six character to your shop. So I got a random level six when I hit level four and I got a random level six when I hit level six. Chaotic sh shadow, shadow, shadow. This is fairy tale fables. It might remind you of something you've seen before. It is not related. Other than, you know, like, uh, conceptually related. It is not... Uh, there, there, there's, there's no relation from developer batch to developer. Different different developer, but... Yeah, Hugo, I, I, <laughs> makes you think, huh? Makes you really scratch your chin and go, hmm. Hugo. I wonder, I wonder, hmm. What could it be? Okay, I'm sorry. We had to go big head mode there. Yeah, I've been looking forward. I like I said, I've been I've been part of the beta squad for a little while now and been testing it. Oh, I haven't uh, shared this yet, but I do want to show this character right here. Might might look a little might look a little familiar. <laughs> oh, we gotta. I mean. We gotta do it. Oh wait, I need to build an emote. I have, I, I built some, some emotes based on the game. So we got a Tinkerbell Jam, which is the dwarf hero. We got Bounce, which is like your polywoggle from the old game analog, the chameleon. I got, I got a couple of new things in here. Gamba's a fun one, but Gamba's funny because this character I think has different art now or something. Uh, whatever. Gamba's fun, but yeah, we got, we got some goofy stuff that we can spam. I need to spend my batch of gold here, so let's do that real quick. I suppose I should take my turn. If someone is in here with me real time, I feel bad. Definitely got to be Philosopher's Stone, aka might remind you of a, an Ambrosia treasure. So Horse Thief steals stats from adjacent units at the start of the fight. The adjacent units only lose the stats temporarily. Horse Thief keeps them permanently. So it's like a level four tempo unit. It doesn't really scale out of control, but if you get it early enough, it can get pretty big and it can be a pretty big chunk of uh, stats on your board and you're pretty okay with that. Can I get the couple of, oh, ah, this is greedy, but I got it. Plus a four cost pouch. This is greedy, but I, I'm doing it. I don't care. You can't stop me. I'm the one clicking the buttons here. Upgraded Smithy. Should have been upgraded multi maybe, but I'm a, I'm a Smithy main. Let's go. You've missed games like these. You're going to get this immediately. Yeah, absolutely. Hop in the discord. Get yourself a key. The more the merrier. Can horse thief comment on any horse related thefts? As far as I'm aware, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Heck yeah. Any horses in chat? No, it's, you, don't have, you, you can chill. It's cool. We got carrots around here somewhere. I thought. Don't we still have carrots around here somewhere? I thought we did. Oh, oh, you don't want an upgraded, uh... <laughs> Meanwhile, Swift is just entirely tr triggered and tilted by my distracted placement in gaming over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm brushing my Ori to give my board instead of a AoE 2-3 buff, making an AoE 4-6 buff might not have been the most value. Maybe not. Especially considering at this stage of the game, Ori has become irrelevant. <laughs> Putting the irrelevant, oh, and plus, oh, 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 okay, hang on, hang on. Swift has one point in that this distracted gaming is a little bit much. <laughs> hang on. Uh, well, no, we'll, 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 we'll put the pouch on you for right now, and then we'll move some stuff around in a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to find the right dwarf. There we go. That's the right dwarf. I know it's not a dwarf. It's a fairy, but it's the right one. Okay, so you need to be there. You need the entrance item, and I don't know why I'm not paying any attention. Wait, no, 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 I did that wrong. You get that. You get that. You get that. 
you can keep all the rest of your stuff. You can have that. You can have that. It doesn't matter what item y'all are carrying. You can be in the Ambrosia. It's going to be, it is going to be old habits die hard. Uh, and I probably should just put all the pouches on the upgraded. I don't know. It's probably better to have one big one than two roughly equally. Or it's probably similar. Plus, I didn't even notice the multi in the shop. I need that too. Got to get that right this second. So let's sell. Sell. Yeah, it's got to be you. Unfortunately, I don't have any more slots to carry junk, so it's going to be that too. We got to get the multi. The multi is huge. I lost a lot of items to make that play, but whatever. I got a lot better items as I go. Here we are. <laughs> I'm going to be torn apart by this in TFT. Well, hopefully it's a good kind of torn apart where you're like... I have two fun games to play, and I don't know which one of them I want to play right now, because that 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 could be nice. Naturally, horse goes live and forces dwarves. I thought I was playing mages, Yaki. I had four owls to start the game. I had an upgraded owl and a fourth owl. <laughs> I, I was convinced I was going to go mages, but then a double snow white shop showed up, and I went, you know what? I think I can play some dwarves. Similar, Brohaven. Yeah, yeah. So, and I might have wanted to upgrade it, but I really want an upgraded multi. So it'll gain one, two thirds of the stats that the rest of my board gains. Oh, this is a big board. And that's a, that's a, ba ba ba, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's items are half cost. So Tinkerbell loves playing a dwarf board or Tinkerbell's great at playing a dwarf board. Granted, I think my 1k, 1k shooty is going to do a pretty good job. Angels are interesting, so they're playing an angel comp. And angels are interesting in that they were playing an angel that resurrects their angels one time when one of their other angels dies. And if you get enough of that stuff put together, it is like... <laughs> it's like a Russian nesting doll of pure terror. <laughs> it's one of the most miserable <laughs> things to fight against if you can build a really solid version of it. Uh, and, and miserable, you know, in the context of you're still playing a video game and presumably enjoying yourself while you're playing a video game, but still. Okay, uh, multi gives a better buff to items on dwarfs. Also, we got another smithy. So that's pretty poggers. We're, we're pogging about that. Yeah, yeah, I headed up 4x, which is totally normal for me. This seems really slow to me, but someone made the good point that maybe I should turn it down a little bit slower here on day one. And so I went, you know, that's a good point. So I did. Some of us haven't been playing for months, exactly. Some people don't have 175 hours already. I looked at Steam right when I started. I had 175. I'll take this spell. This is a you go first next fight. Hermes Blessing. Run one of those. I really need to find more dwarf, but I'm also pretty solidly statted for, like, not dying to something silly right now, you know? That's a free plus one, two buff permanently on stuff. I think I just need to roll from a dwarf. I mean, I could buy this because it sells for one, but also, like, what am I doing? It's fine. I'll play that stuff. Where's my Amiri? Someone made a good point. Unheard of. Yeah, me admitting someone made a good point. What? Core, hello. Also, I, I read your comment, but I didn't say hi specifically. Rain, good to see you. I think three is closer to SPB speeds. I play on 4X, but it is super zoomy. Yeah, I like 4X. I like 4X. Nikthos, yeah, I think a lot of y'all are going to realize that you're going to 4X as you get more familiar, but it makes a lot of sense right now just to start. Start nice and easy. You can't go first. I can go first. I can't be first to stream. That was Kiv. Let's see how big my... Oh, oh fly right into my smithy. <laughs> Whatever, Trestus fluffs. Trestus doesn't scare me. You like skip when not streaming or bug hunting? I don't like to skip. I like watching the fights. I don't like to skip. No, I don't like... I'm not a skip main. I'm a 4X main. I like the fights. But then again, I... I like, even not streaming, I still like the fights. I just do. Uh, yes and no, Brohaven. Yes and no. This one is giving me all my stats. This is where all the stats come from. It's doubling, well, tripling the stats of everything on these fools. And like, you look at that, it's a 35, 35, 19, 19, 19, 19, 30 something, 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 30 something. 
So no, no. I mean, I, I would consolidate into one big unit as opposed to, but even that, it probably still wouldn't be as big. No, actually. <laughs> On uh, further examination and review, I have determined just no. <laughs> just, just no. All right, that's a little puny item. We want to get the nice items on the dwarves. The puny items go on those fools. But I definitely want to get another double entrance because that's just going to be buffing those items even more. I mean, I guess we're just going to play without Admiri. You can power an entire dwarf board off multis. I've done it before in one games. Now, if I found an Admiri, I would slot it in in a heartbeat, but you don't need it, apparently. There are two big buffer level six dwarves. And the other one I'm looking for buffs all your dwarves uh, by 4-4 four, four for each item you own. So you can see <laughs> however many are on here, plus here, plus here. It, it'd be a fair number of stats on my dwarves and then also on my tree. Oh, trees, fairies, fairies. They're not trees. They're not. Tre <laughs> Some of these old habits die hard. Old habits die hard. Oh, I need that pouch. That has to happen. Uh, I will sell a crappy sword and two dwarfies to... I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a pouch for this fool today. Let's swap those two around too. Let's put the bigger items on the shooter and keep the smaller items on the... Oh, uh, I probably... No, I probably should not. I should entrance on this smithy if it's an upgraded smithy, but I should definitely entrance item the multis. It's so many more stats that way. And also, unyielding should be in front of not unyielding. Range should be very first. Something like this. I think I'm in good shape. I think I might win this lobby. Watching horse play a fairy tale themed auto battler with two rose treasures and spells I've missed this. Whiskey, it's good to see you. It's multiplying this. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. How many something? Oh no, I, <laughs> I lost context grams. Probably all the something. Lots of something? Oh man, I really. Don't love what angels can do sometimes. I say that with my big old dwarf board, which is cooking, but... That angelic commander just wrecked my whole entire life. This is what the angel boards do. Whew! And I'm big, too. Oh, that uh, I didn't see. Okay. So I was down I was down my main smithy the whole entire fight, too. I, I, then I would have actually won it, probably. Just look at his little face. He's so happy. So there's some sort of short rundown of the difference, like blue currency and item stuff. No, no, not really. A few folks have put together some YouTube videos, and I don't know. I haven't watched any of that because that all nobody was allowed to release anything until this morning. So I haven't seen any of that yet. I know a few folks did put together a couple of like how to go play sort of YouTubes. So you might have some of that content. I am going to just plan to explain things as I play it. And I'm recording this stuff so I can go back. So if you want to see like my thinking as I was navigating through this dwarf game and you want to kind of think about how you're going to plan your own dwarf games and, you know, take my ideas and build off on that. That's kind of where I'm going to go. And we are also hosting a cool tourney. If you exclamation point tourney on the weekend. So even more chances to get engaged, get involved. Everybody will have a shot to, well, top 50 leaderboard will have a shot to plan that. What is this? Entrance again. I just keep getting nothing but entrance items. These stink. These do not help. Yo, Ken. Oh, look, it's Ken. Thanks for the thanks for the raid, Ken. Thank you, thank you. Give me just a second here. I'm going to go ahead and re-roll these. So what will happen is I'll lose two gold at the start of my next turn, and then I'll get offered a new batch of level sixes after. Well, no, we're probably on the last round of fights, and I need stuff that does stuff right now. Now, nah, I'm going to re-roll. I don't want to let a level six treasure just go. Oh, I'm also running out of time, aren't I? Do I have a slot for any more items? I do not. I mean, as long as I don't... Oh, there it is. There's the dwarf we've been waiting for. Uh, have plus 06. I don't know. I ran out of time. Ken, thank you for the raid. Shouts to Ken. I think you were playing this, if I'm not mistaken. Am I mistaken? I don't know. I thought, I, I, I glanced at the category and saw a bunch of familiar names. I thought I saw your name in that mix. Oh, what a nice dream you got here. I am not mistaken. Okay, thank God. I, well, I already have three entrance items, Yaki. I really need to find more stats because I'm getting swarmed by an unending host of angelic terror. 
No, kill it dead. Get it off the board forever. Get it. Yeah, now your angels can't do squat. They got small and they can't slay no more. Oh God, I talked, I shouldn't have talked. <laughs> the angels are still doing squat. Why are they still resummoning? <laughs> there needs to be a counter for this comp. This comp is miserable to play against when you have no idea how many angels it's going to make. There needs to be counters for how many resummons are left. The mechanic is one of those angels resummons another angel when it dies. The ones that were in these two slots. Actually, you know what? Here's 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 what I could tell you. Here's what I could. Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll show you what's. I haven't shown off what scouting looks like. So you can come up to the top bar and you can hover and you can look at anybody's board and you can hit this little lock icon, and then you'll stay locked on their board scouting. So the mechanic they're using is when one of your other angels dies, revive them two times with 100% HP. Uh, they don't have the. Oh, that's not Nora. They don't, uh, that doesn't matter. So they're they're using, and then the other mechanic they're using is Angelic Commander, Unyielding Aura. Your good characters have Slay. Angelic Commander gives two of your other angels 50% of her starting stats. So they're using the good boys to get stats up on the board, using the Angel Warrior to tank on the front line, building up Slays, and then building up stats on this Angelic Commander, and then just absolutely flogging the two ranged angels to do damage. That said... It may be appropriate power level considering how close a fight that was with my big old dwarf board, right? Like these are two late game boards that are both very powerful game states. They're, the, the, the state of each of these boards is pretty strong. We're, we're, we're talking late, late game at this point. We're round 20 for crying out loud. But that angelic comp can tilt me off the face of the planet. <laughs> Just not knowing. Another entrance item. Okay. You can have that. I uh, upgraded you can have that. Definitely save for the other entrance item. Definitely want the bigger item in play. I don't think I'm going to get this done in time. I don't know that this is my best board, but I wanted multi catching the buff because I think a lot of my stats are just here on that item. I got a almost 10k 10k mirror fairy at this point. Oh, bro. Oh, you know, that's interesting. In uh, in the old paradigm, that angelic commander would have attacked again right there. Dude, I'm, I, I lose. I lose the game because the one angelic commander caught enough stats to get over the top of my board and I can never catch back up. Well, hang on, hang on. We got the kill. Hang on. I'm really desperate to complain about this comp because it drives me up a wall. <laughs> Wait, the Angelic Commander is down! The Angelic Commander is down! <laughs> this map is very gold. Slightly hurts my eyes. That's a fair feedback, yeah. Yo, dog, I heard you liked angels, so we put angels in your angels so you can angel while you angel. Yeah, I honestly, now I kind of have to just focus. I have to, I have to like finish this off real quick. We don't need shop sales and extra character. Let's take that pirate safe. That'll bump up the level of the next treasure I get by two. That said, I forgot. I'm just making a big Admiri this time around. I do need this entrance item though, ideally. I don't have seven things to sell. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I, I don't have, I don't even have two like crappy items left anymore. Yeah. I probably need another just mirror fairy at this point. I want that though. I'll lock it. I can put a sleigh item out, but that don't do nothing. All right. Let's just go. Let's we're, we're in the finals. Let's just go. Horse math. Unity not affecting entrance. That would be way busto here though. Gusta. So my only used emotes were shout out to theft according to the recap. Had to sub to get them back. Gusta, thank you for the four months. Oh. Yeah, like that angel in four should have attacked again right there because it resurrected in time to attack again right there, right? Just kind of in general. Luckily, the mirror tree kind of messed them up. Yeah, that angel should have attacked again right there. It should have had to attack in and then, you know, lose its life. Interesting. All right, I think I'm... I got a little grouchy at the end because I was like, I definitely win this game and I fought a board. I'm like, wait a minute, I definitely don't win this game? 
Because I gotta lose the angel shenanigans? Alright, look, dwarves are very solid. Dwarves are very, very strong, very strong. Work quite well in this game. Angels also very solid, but that was fun. Alright, we got ourselves a dwarf video for the YouTube.